Welcome back to another Wellness Trapcast. Yay! Jeff, what uh, episode is this? Uh, season 5, episode 14. Woo! Yeah. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Pete. Happy New Year, Jeff. Yeah, Thank you. Sure. Why don't we introduce ourselves? Okay. No party. Homie D for life over here. Wow, all right. Jeff. All right. Happy, happy, happy. Friendly, friendly, friendly. <laughs> new year, new you. Here we go. All right. How about our sound and video engineer? Who's I am Ryan, the sound and video engineer. Okay. Alex, Whitney, would you like to say hello? Hi, Whitney. Hello, Hi, Whitney. I'm Alex. I'm Jeff. I'm Pete. Hey, Alex. How you doing? <laughs> Good. How are you? Good. How are you? So the gang is all here. Yeah. We're back. It's 2023. I know. First podcast in a year. Yeah. That's true. Um, all right, guys, what do we want to do? Want to get right after it? Or you got anything to say in the welcome? What do you think? Jeff, you got anything? Uh, nope. Okay. I'll repeat. All right. I wish I don't. I don't. All right. Well, why don't we... Uh, We'll go to break and we'll come back. We have a big show ahead today. Oh, yes. Big show our, today. Our friend John Keeley is going to join us and talk about the Everglades. Yeah. Right. Do you want to talk about who our guest is? Aaron. From? From the... No. Yep. The family... The, the founder of Family Dinner. Yeah, the founder of Family Dinner. So that's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. Tell you a little bit more about that, and uh, delicious. I think Noel, do you have tips and tricks and recommendations for us too? Yes, I do. All right, and uh, we've got dear happy and friendly Jeff segment coming too. All right, so uh, Jeff, you want to take us a break, and we'll come back and get after it on the other side. Uh, yes, Pete. We will we'll be right back. Welcome, Aaron, to the Stripecast. Can you tell us about family and dinner? Yes. So family dinner is a local farmer's market delivery service. So every week we work with local farms. Sorry for the sound. Every week we work with local farms and we bring together meat and fish and cheese and bread and pasta and we deliver it to our customers' doors. We have a place in Massachusetts that we deliver to all of our folks in Massachusetts, and we have one in Portland, Maine. And so we deliver in both of those states working with small local farms. Awesome. Jeff? Uh, yes, Pete? It's your turn. Question? Okay. <laughs> um, what is the benefit of shopping with family dinner? That's a great question. I think that one of the benefits is that you get to support the farmers in your community. So kind of like your neighbors um, and you buy your food locally and it's very fresh. And so it might taste a little better. It's coming from local folks and you can feel good about knowing where your food comes from. The other benefit of buying from Family Dinner is that we are also a small local business, woman-owned, important. Um, and so we uh, really appreciate our customers who support us and the things that we're trying to do. No? Oh, yes. Oh, oh that's, that's number one. Oh, what is an average day look like for you? Oh, wow. Well, today, I suppose, is an average day. We are in our kitchen facility, and we are packing up all of the meat and fish and eggs and cheese, and there are cookies and fresh pasta this week, and we are delivering it to our customers' homes. So today, we'll probably do about 250 deliveries, wow. uh, not all delivered by me. That would I'm not Santa Claus, but uh, it's delivered by a team of people. There's about 25 people that work here. 
And so on Tuesdays, we wake up early, we get everything set up, we line all the food up, and then we walk around in circles like crazy people putting things in bags for hours. Uh, it's good exercise, uh, but that's our work. That's what it looks like. And how do you get to decide what you want to order? That's a good question. Sorry, guys, um, so I just jumped in on you. It changes week <laughs> to week. We want it to change week to week. Um, and in the summer, that's really easy because you can think about the summer veggies. There's all kinds of fruit like strawberries and peaches and bright, beautiful things that come out of the ground. And in the winter, it can get a little boring, right? You're just looking at potatoes and beets. So we try to be as diverse as we can and keep it interesting for our customers so they're not getting bored. So there is a little bit of moving puzzle pieces around every week to make sure that the offering looks beautiful and fresh and also are things that people want to eat without giving them week after week of carrots and potatoes. That sounds great. Jeff? Uh, yes, yeah, Pete. Number two? Okay, I got it. Go for it. Um, what is your favorite part of your job? Oh, man. Uh, I think my favorite part is when I get to go to the farms um, and and see the farmers and meet the farmers. And I also get to play with the animals. So I like running around with the pigs and the baby cows and all that kind of stuff. It always it just makes me laugh. They're just, you know, little baby animals are silly and goofy and they run into stuff. And uh, that's not a great answer as a business person. But as a person, <laughs> person that's my favorite part. Awesome. No. Okay. Oh, what is the hottest part of your job? The what? hardest, that's a great, you know, I think it's the hardest part of maybe anyone's job, particularly, or I guess this is how I feel, is that when it's hard, when work gets hard, you have to keep like putting a smile on your face and showing up and doing and doing the work. Because when you own your own business, there's no one to turn around to. You have to do it yourself. So it's exciting to own your own business and it's also a lot i'll bet <laughs> jeff yes number three <laughs> yeah. um what is one thing you wish everyone will know about family dinner i want people to know that we put a lot of care into what we do we want to select the food really carefully. We want to buy from people that we believe in, farmers who are doing good work, who treat animals well. We want people to know that the stuff that shows up at their home hasn't just been randomly thrown in a bag by people who don't care, that we put a, a lot of time and care and effort into every delivery that we make. And I think sometimes people can think you're just this distant person and it's not like a company run by actual people. Um, but so we want them to know that it's, you know, human beings behind the company and we care a lot about the work. Um, would you like to throw out your website? Oh, Just... sure. Um, familydinner.com is okay. our website. Um, and I think you'll definitely find pictures of little baby animals on there <laughs> as well as, um, <laughs> some, some like photos of what each week might look like. And the coolest part I think about any delivery is that every week we give people like a little surprise, like little cookies or brownies or chocolate bars. And even though the bag is full of meat and produce and fish and all that stuff, people just love the cookies and they eat them right away <laughs> and they hide them from their kids and all that kind of stuff. We love them. <laughs> people tend to say that opening a family dinner bag is like Christmas morning. You're pulling it out and it's discovery and it's fun. And there's always that little treat that they really enjoy. Nice. You had me at cookies. <laughs> That's what so, everyone does. <laughs> so, guys, what's it time for now? Oh, a lightning round. Oh, I love a lightning <laughs> round. I, I hope I'm lightning ready. Round. Do I need to stretch? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I don't know if I'm or, ready. Or put on a seatbelt if you have one. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Jeff, would you like to go first? Yes, Pete. Take it away. Okay. Um... What is your f uh, favorite um, restaurant? What is my favorite restaurant? Um, in Portland, I really like the Honey Paw. They make a lot of like really bright, crazy flavored things that are sometimes a little bit too spicy, but I really like that place. And then there's Wilson's Barbecue. Is that the name of it? On Paris Street. They make 
biscuits and chicken and all it it starts to our facility that we work out of in Portland is directly across the street. So when you go to work, it smells like pork and beef, and all kinds of good stuff already. It always makes me hungry. No. Okay. If you were a um are you a big fan of Avatar? <laughs> I've never seen Avatar. I haven't seen are, are there now two of them? Yeah. No recommends the second one. <laughs> okay. I haven't seen them. I uh have watched a lot of Fast and the Furious. Oh, okay. I got one. I've watched, yeah, I've watched a lot of those. Uh yeah. yes, but not Avatar. You must be no. a more patient person than I am. I hear that that movie is very long. If if you were in Fast and Furious, what yeah. character are you like to be in Fast and Furious? That's a good Vin Diesel who drives around like a crazy person. I think that would be me. Uh, I like to drive fast cars and I dress in black, so maybe that's <laughs> close enough. You could work in a few more deliveries that way too. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. I mean, you'd have to really stuff them in those tiny cars. Uh, yeah. Jeff, back to you. Okay. Um, what is your favorite uh, fruit? Oh, strawberries in the summer. It's a very specific answer, but like strawberries from Maine or blueberries from Maine in the summer are unbelievably delicious, and they don't taste nearly as good. When they've traveled all the way across the country and they've they're just not, not local it tastes like a main strawberry a main blueberry in the summer is just like candy i love them no oh yeah oh let's see if um, what do if, if you you like to live in a house or in a farm I would like to live in a house that had baby animals around it, but that wasn't necessarily a farm because working on a farm is a lot of work. Uh, and I don't want to do all the work. I just want to play with the baby animals. <laughs> that's, that's, that's my answer. So house with animals, no farming required. <laughs> uh, Jeff, you got one more? Uh, yes. Um, uh, what is your... Uh, What's your favorite superpower and why? Um, I actually think that a superpower that other people have that I don't have is patience, but I'm working on it. Uh, no, but a superpower, you got to you gotta want to be able to fly, right? I think that would be mine. I don't really want to walk through walls or like have x-ray vision. I think flying would be pretty cool. Uh you know, and wearing a cape while flying would be really cool. <laughs> I think that's Definitely. my answer. All right. And then, uh, Ryan, would you like to ask our last one? Tell us your best joke. Oh, okay. Uh, thank you for asking. <laughs> oh. oh, man. <laughs> oh, I have so many terrible jokes. <laughs> what, what do you call, oh, man. What do you call an alligator who's a detective? An investigator. An investigator. Oh, investigator. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> All right. You really nailed that one because I love horrible dad jokes. <laughs> I love them. And no one else here lets me tell them. So I really appreciate wow. you letting me do that. <laughs> well, we really appreciate you coming on, especially sounds like Tuesdays are busy for you. So thanks very much well, for hi, but what a joy. Mm -hmm joining us and the website again is familydinner.com right yep that's us great you guys thank you so much it was so wonderful to meet you all thank you thank you thank you thank you, Jeff, would you hey like guys, I, gotta, I gotta go watch avatar okay yeah. <laughs> jeff would you like to take us a break we'll be right back swagcast is brought to you by your ad is right here. So we're kicking off a New Year's special. Uh, four episodes for $25. The one price of $25 and get sponsored to be on four episodes to get your brand out there and to help support Strive. We really appreciate that if you want to do so. 
We'd appreciate it. So send an email at strivecast at pslstrive.org or um, call up 207-774-6278 and we'd be glad to work a deal with you. You heard it here first. Strivecast at pslstrive.org. Four episodes. Boom. Just like that. What All a right. deal. Jeff, would you like to take us to break? Uh, yes, Pete. We will be right back. Welcome to the Strivecast family, Mr. John Kelly. Hi, John. Hey, what's up, everyone? Hi, John. Happy New Year. Oh, Happy New Year to you, too, guys. Hey, John. How you doing? Good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. And how are you? Good. <laughs> what do you got for us this week, John? This month, I'll be taking you down to the Florida Everglades. Whoa. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So, here goes nothing. The Everglades is huge. The Everglades is a 1.5 million acre wetland, the largest subtropical wetland ecosystem and mangrove ecosystem in North America, and the largest wilderness in the southeastern United States. There are breeding birds. The Everglades contains the most expansive sawgrass prairie habitat on the continent where numerous tropical species of wading birds breed. It flows. The Everglades is a very slow-moving river that flows 100 miles from Okeechobee Lake toward the southern tip of the Florida Peninsula. Its nickname is referred to as the River of Grass. It's half its original size. The Everglades has shrunk 50% due to humans who have drained or impounded the river of grass in its adjacent wetlands. Both, and get this, both alligators and crocodiles live there. The Everglades is the only place in the world where crocs, which live on the coast in brackish water, and alligators which live in fresh water, both reside. Alligators are only native to the southeastern United States and to China. The Everglades is the southernmost end of, the, of their range in the U.S. The American alligator is larger than the Chinese species. Its six habitats harbor endangered species of birds and animals. The black skimmer and burrowing, and burrowing owl are among the 366 species of birds that inhabit the Everglades, as well as the endangered Florida panther. Seven million Floridians depend on it for drinking water. Wildfires are common, believe it or not. It may be a wetland, but during the dry season, wildfires ignited by lightning help to naturally rejuvenate habitat. Nutrient pollution threatens its health and the well-being of Florida residents. Nitrogen-rich runoff causes toxic algae blooms, red tide suffocating flora and fauna and causing respiratory disease in people. Now, does anybody have any questions? Oh, yes. This, it is uh, John Keeley. How did the Everglades form? How they form? Form. Mm -hmm. The Everglades formed with the rise of sea levels that occurred 17,000 years ago. During the Ice Age, the runoff of water from Lake Okeechobee slowed and created the vast, the vast marshland that is known today as the Everglades. Wow. Yeah. 
Jeff, you have one? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, oh, was that Pete? Do you have a question? Uh, uh, yes. Let her rip. <laughs> yeah, um, when and why was the Everglades National Park, uh, uh, C R E A T E T spell created. Yeah, it was established in 1947 with the support of many early conservationists, scientists, and advocates and advocates to conserve its natural landscape and prevent further de degradation of its land, plants, and animals. Interesting. I have a question, John. How many types yeah. of trees are there in the Everglades? The Everglades is home to 120 different types of trees. Oh. There are over 100 seed-bearing plants that produce seeds and are among the oldest plant species. The earliest plant and seeds arose over 360 million years ago. Wow. Wow. Lots of yeah. facts about the Everglades. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kind of fun. It was kind of fun. <laughs> it was a lot. Mm -hmm. Anybody else have any Everglade questions? Um, I, I do. do. Okay. <laughs> Go for it. Um, how many elephants were in the Everglades? Elephants? <laughs> I don't yeah. think there are elephants in the Everglades. Yeah. I don't think that's a species that's there. <laughs> Good question, uh, though, fish. Jeff. Uh, how about fish? Fish, he's... fish, yeah, there are fish. Lots of them. Mm -hmm. how, how, um, uh, uh, what type of fish are there in the Everglades, uh, John? Hmm. I think, okay, I don't know the names. A lot of, a lot of different types. Great. Well, John, uh, thanks so much as always. Oh, I, I had a question too. Oh, go ahead. My my bad. <laughs> Maybe. What what is the tallest part of the Everglades? I don't know the tallest part. Hmm. Oh. Probably at the top of one of those 140 different trees. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, John, I think our so questions much. have been answered. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that is all of our Everglades questions. Thank you, John, very much for joining us again this month. And uh, we always look forward to having you on. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Jeff, John. Want, to take, want to take us a break, Jeff? Uh, see you yeah, later. Yeah. Go for uh, it. Uh, I'll see you later, John. Bye. Uh, bye. Jeff, oh, want to take us a break? Uh, yes. We'll be right back. Welcome to tips and recommendations. So, okay, I will start with happy wheels first. Happy news, let's hear it. Happy no, wheels. Happy, happy wheels. wheels? Oh, my bad. <laughs> At the new location in Westbrook. Okay, tell us about it. I have not been to the new location. Opened in Westbrook. A fun, warm, indoor activity. Mm -hmm. It's near the bowling alley in the Westport Eye place. In the okay. Huh. Yeah, I've been going there with Eva and Henry. Right. And do you, what do you give it for a rating? One through ten? One, 100, because it's really big. Wow. Is it bigger <laughs> than the old one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very yeah. cool. And do they and, rent skates? Yes. Can you bring I, your own rollerblades? I bring my new water blades. Ooh, so that's a yes. Yeah. All right, there you go. That sounds like a nice thing to do on a cold day. And Friday, last Friday, but it, I, Avatar 2, I saw that. Ooh. Uh, uh, fun to go movies in Persia. And to see in 3D. 
I, I had 3D glasses. Oh, wow. Where did you see that? And used to be um, but a, a flagship used to be hmm. right, right in your area. Huh. I didn't know they had 3D. Yeah. And then what did you give Avatar to? What, what, what's your rating on Avatar 2? I never saw any Avatars before. Oh. So right. jump to number two. Okay. I'll pick 100. 100 again. Do wow. I, I pick 100, Peter? We're we'll throwing away high, throwing out high <laughs> scores all over the place today. Do you know why I pick 100? Uh, no. Because Zoe is in it from Guardians of the Galaxy. Ah. Who played the mother. I heard it was very, very long. Was that yeah. Right? Two hours. A little longer than that, I think, even. Yeah. Did it keep your attention or did you get bored? Oh, I I never got bored because okay. it was kind of nifty with those 3D glasses. <laughs> there you go. Well, there's Noel's tips, tricks, and recommendations. Do you have anything else for us? Or... Oh. Okay. Well, that, those are great tips this week and some new reviews. Two one, perfect 100 scores, or better than perfect, because perfect is 10. So <laughs> there you go. Jeff, would you like to take us a break? Uh, yes, Pete. We will be right, right back. All right, we're back, and it's time for... My segment. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right. We've got a viewer, a viewer or listener question today. It's from David from Wyndham. Oh. And he writes, Dear Jeff, my family enjoyed playing games together around the holidays. What is your favorite board game? Love the show, David from Wyndham. Everybody else be thinking about this too. So Monopoly. Monopoly. Oh, is that really your favorite board game? That's the first one um, that came to mind. <laughs> uh, it's what came to mind because I, I like really... Monopoly for like a nice long game on a rainy day. Night, real long game. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. When's the last time you played Monopoly, everybody? I, 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 I say like I, last year in December. Oh, well, really? not last year, December, but like year be now in the year before, like in December twenty twenty one. Now we're in the year. I, I um I I don't know uh P I I usually play I I don't play board games anymore. Oh well, that's too bad. All right, how about your what's your favorite video game? Okay, oh. yes, <laughs> yeah. Actually, um, my my favorite um uh game is playing football. Uh, okay. actually, Madden thirteen. Madden thirteen. Yes. Okay, that's now ten years old, but. <laughs> Uh yeah, but I do I do great at it, but and that's it. He's got it figured out. I'll bet you do. Madden thirteen. <laughs> uh, yes, I can try a little short there, but yeah. Okay, all right, sounds good. Noel, what's your favorite board game? Oh, uh, let I like um. Let's see, Shock Attack is one of them. Mouse Trap, Shoot Sim Ladders, and Monopoly. Wow, that's a lot. And seen it. <laughs> seen it, yeah, that's a good one. Okay, great. Bless you to Jeff. Oh, thank you. All right. Um, Whitney. Yes. Favorite board game? My favorite board game, I always liked the game of life. Ooh. But oh. I have a game that I think will impress the boys here from the 90s. I have a full house board game. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Wow. How are we just remember. hearing about this? <laughs> I don't remember how it goes, but maybe the Strivecast fam can play sometime. Wow. <laughs> that could be a whole episode when we have <laughs> no guests one day. <laughs> Is this sort of like I used to have a C by the bell? Oh. Uh, board game. Maybe it's similar. How to date AC Slater or Screech. <laughs> <laughs> that is not part of the board game. <laughs> But that, sounds that, like a cool crossover game. You guys I think you with. collect things along the way. Kind of uh, like... Oh, okay. Huh. All right, Ryan, how about you? Well, besides Monopoly, I would have to say I like the game of life, too. Oh. Wow. And you like Symbol Gore, a game like Sorry as well. Great movie. 
All right. We got some classic ones that we've named. All right. Alex. I think I have to go with Connect Four. Ooh, speaking of classics, we've almost got a couple Love that game. here. Well, if we're going to go classics, I'm going to go Battleship then. Uh, yeah. Oh, I, I used to play that on a very old computer. Battleship? Uh, Pete. You played it on a computer? Uh, yeah. Cool. I also yeah. like Scategories. Oh, that's a great game. I like Scategories. That's a good one. And Battleship Pete is a movie, too. Huh. And a newer one, we just played... Um, my family played some board games on Christmas um, and around then. We liked a new game called Ransom Note, which was pretty funny. Oh, Ransom Note. Yeah. Oh, speaking of games, Peter. Um, That's better than you were going to say, speaking of <laughs> Ransom Notes. What I got for my birthday of Eva and Henry. Oh, no, not, no, not even Henry. Lucas got me. Banana Grams. Oh, that's and, a fun game. Mm-hmm. And um, I think I I think something with um trivia cards. Oh, like Trivia Pursuit. That's a game nobody mentioned. No, it's trivia TV and movie card game. Trivia. Oh, TV movie oh, trivia. That's perfect for you. Yeah. Very cool. All right. Is it nineties edition? I think any anything. You would dominate <laughs> if it was. 90s. All right. <laughs> well, David from Wyndham, thanks so much for the great question. And if anybody else has a question for Jeff, you can email it to him and our whole team at strivecast at pslstrive.org. Um, and we'd love to have you ask Jeff, just like our friend David. Jeff, anything yeah. else on the subject? You have the last say on games, board games, video games, hunger games. You tell it. You tell it. <laughs> um... I, I, when I was a kid, I used to play uh, checkers. Oh, checkers is a good one. <laughs> yep, I'm, I'm, I'm done. Be, I'm, did you, did you cheat? I'm done. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, it, do you cheat at board games? No, I, I say uh, let's, let's, let's move on. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> why don't you take us? Why don't you take us a break then? Okay, we'll be right back. Strivecast is brought to you by listeners like you. Listeners like who, Ryan? Leo Garcia. Yeah, go Leo. Thanks for listening, Leo. Thanks, Leo. (laughs) And if if someone out there would like to be Listener of the Week, Noel, how do they become Listener of the Week? Uh, To call in. (laughs) They could call in. Or? X. Or Uh, text, I guess. uh, Or or send us an a email at at strivecast.com. Yeah, strivecast at strivecast PSL. at PSL. Strive. Strive. Very close. Um, yeah, or just like our posts on social media for the you know. Let us know you're listening. Uh, leave us a review, like a post, share it, comment, any of the above, and you could be listener of the week, just like Leo. Thanks, Leo. Jeff, want we'll to take us a break? Yes, Pete. We will be right back. Now it's time to wrap. The wrap seven, what? The wrap the wrap sandwich. Wrap it up. Wrap, the, yeah. wrap it up. Wrap the sandwich up and wrap everything up. Okay, what type of wrap are we wrapping up? Um, 2023 college BOT <laughs> is a, a, a half of UNA marshmallow sour cream meatloaf sandwich. Oof. How do you come up with this stuff? <laughs> interesting one. 2023 college UNE sour cream meatloaf and fluff. Meatloaf and yeah. fluff wrap. <laughs> but I'm gonna pass, I think. Yeah. Yeah. But extra points for creativity today. Oh yeah. Green college wrap. 
It was beautiful too. Yeah. It was beautiful. <laughs> Uh, what do we want to talk about now as we wrap it up? Anything <laughs> left? Probably should thank uh, our guests. Would you like to thank our guests, Noel? Oh, yes. Thank you, Miss Erin. Nice to meet you. Yep, from Family Dinner, familydinner.com, if you want to check out all their services. And yeah. we thank them for donating to the auction this year as well. Yeah. It's a very popular item. It was a, it I was, was out good. auction, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jeff, you look like you're trying to say something. Oh, um, yep, I'm all set. Okay. All right. Well, now that we're thanking people. Yeah. <laughs> Should we thank John for coming on today and telling us all about the Florida Everglades? I learned a lot from John today. Yeah, that John, John, thank yeah, you, John. John. Yeah. That's right. So thanks to John. Okay. Yeah. All right, Ryan, are we still hiring? Yes, we are. Strive is still hiring. And with a sign bonus at $1,750, check out pflstrive.org slash employment. There you go. All right. Anything else we need to talk about? That's a good I don't think so. I don't think so either. We'll have some uh, exciting events news coming in the not-so-distant future, but uh, just need to make some final uh, touches on some things, and we'll have lots to announce coming up in the next couple of weeks. So Winnie will be and, back with more. And yeah. What, no? And Martin Luther King is the next holiday in general. That is correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, are we done? Oh, yes. Uh, he, yes. Hey, Pete. All right. Well, thanks for listening, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.